Well, we have six people so far. Hi, guys. Another live sale today. We literally just walked in the door four minutes ago from uh, garage sales, yard sales, an estate sale. So here we are. If you guys are there, say something. Okay, there we go. Jeannie, Annie. Hi, guys. Girls. You know me. I'm from New York. Everybody's guys. <laughs> I have to get look, used to where my camera is. I don't know why when I go live, I'm always looking off that way. Jeffrey, you made it. All right. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hope you guys are having an awesome weekend. Hi, Barb. Hi, Carolyn, Holly, Sandra, Paula, Helene, Jill, Christine, Cheryl Haskins, Mary Scott. Hi, Bev. Linda. Yes. Yeah, we, um, hi, Deborah. We went to some uh, sales today, my daughter, myself, and my aunt. And um, I was going to film, but you know what? Between the mask and the heat and everything, I just was like, no, not today. <laughs> Jessica's here. She'll be, she'll be up in a second. She, um, she doesn't want to sit in the camera today so she's <laughs> she'll be up in a minute hey there bergen pines no horses for you huh <laughs> hi carolyn i'm glad you guys decided to come today i know everybody's probably out garage sailing like we were hi rita not today hi diana I like my shelf the way it is, Diana. Uh, you know, it's I like it, so just saying. Hi, Veronica. Reclaim Treasures. I gotta run downstairs. Hi, Tenderfoot. One more minute. I forgot something downstairs. Okay. <laughs> my daughter forgot something. We'll get started shortly. Are the roosters above your chair rail? Yes, actually, those were sent to me by um, one of my friends, my one of my subscribers, Randy. Um, I ran back to Goodwill to get him the Santa Claus, the Christmas Santa Claus in the chair that he saw in one of my videos. And um, so he sent me those uh, as a thank you. And they're just like wall stickers. They're so stinking cute. I love them. So thank you, Randy. So, all right, Jessica's back. Just stub my toe. I have no stretch glass. Yeah, aren't they cute? They're, they're, they really kind of made it, I think. Okay. So right now we have, what do we have? 62, 62 people here right now. Annie P said, hi, Jessica. Hello. <laughs> She's just pulling up the chat right now, guys. All right, I got it. All right, I guess we're all good to go. Oh, you're like me, Linda? <laughs> um, this fruit, these I found at Goodwill. There was a set of two, and these here, there's these two and two on the other side, I got from Vinny. Vintage Vinny on one of his live sales. Um, and I got this, oh, you can't see it here, but it's um, a chalkware string holder. It's a big giant pair. I got that from one of the live sales. So yeah, I had to quit watching the live sales for a while because I was like getting a little crazy. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get started. Um, I'm going to start with the little things that are in front of me here. And I do have a bunch of milk glass today, too. So 
And That'll like be bonus cool. Disney items. We have some bonus Disney items. So um, I just want to let everybody know that um, at the end of the sale, my email address is in every description box of every video. It may not be at the end of this video right away because it takes a few few minutes to um, put all the information in, but it is in the description box of all of my other videos. So uh, just so you know that. So after the sale, please email me your mailing address and your PayPal info. So that way I can send you an invoice. Also, if you're lagging behind, everybody's internet speeds are different. So what you might have to make sure is that you are in live chat, not top chat, okay? And you might have to like go, go out and then come back in. Uh, that also helps as well. Um, Whoever's number that we see on our side first will be the person that gets the item, okay? Okay, we have Binks and Sophie are playing with each other, and uh, Binks is in the box below the table. <laughs> uh, am I forgetting anything? Honestly, I wasn't listening. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right, well, whatever. All right, let's get started. First off is this absolutely adorable baby planter. Would you look at the face on that baby? This is the cutest little planter I've ever seen. Uh, it is actually Rubens, Japan. And this little cutie is $10 and it is number 45. I love it. Look how cute. Look at that face. Um, uh, Janine, Janine Draper, or Jeannie? Is it Jeannie or Je it's Jeannie, right? Draper. But that. But that's who got winner, it. Winner, winner, <laughs> chicken dinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Jeannie Draper. All right. Next, I have this. This reminds me of like English country cottage. It's this really pretty teapot, the blue and the white with the roosters. There's no cracks, no chips. The lid has the design on it as well. Um, it is actually California, it's called California Pantry. And it's from 2002. Is that upside down? No. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Laura. And this lovely teapot is $12. And it's number nine. It's really in excellent shape. All right. Uh, let's go... This is a, um, a resale item. It's sold in one of my other um, sales, but the person uh, never claimed it, so I am putting it up for sale again. And it's this adorable puppy, um, it's a bank, actually. Really, really cute. Um, this little guy had a chip on his tail, and I just kind of touched it up with some watercolors. But there's the, the slot for the coins. And this is a Japan piece. And this is $12 and it's number six. All right. Connie Emmerich. Connie. All right. Thank you, Connie. Okay, next I have, I just thrifted this recently, is this awesome um, H.J. Heinz Company recipe box. Uh, it's really in great shape. It's from 1987. 
and the inside is nice and clean. So this little beauty is $5 and it's number one. All right. Barb-JM. Okay, Barb. Thank you, Barb. All right, next I have this really, really pretty plate. It has like little violets on it. Really, very, very pretty. Um, it doesn't have any um, markings on the bottom. But this is $6, and it's number 12. That would be pretty just like on one of those plate racks on the wall. Right. Yeah, it's really pretty. I love the colors. Cheryl Hoskins. All right. Thank you, Cheryl. All right. Next up is this really cool, this is made by Federal Glass, and it is a two-piece uh, reamer, fruit reamer. There's the Federal mark there. It's really cool, I love it, I like the design. And this is $8, and it's number 18. Really cool piece. All right. Need a little sip, sip. Okay. Linda Martin. Linda Martin. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now I have this set of Victorian boots. Yes. Would it be Victorian or Edwardian? Um, Victorian, Edwardian, whatever. They're not too far off. So, um, they were both in excellent condition, except today when I was moving everything out here for the sale, I dropped this one and broke off a couple petals here on the flower. So, of course, I reduced the price. But it's the pair uh, for $6. They were eight. I reduced it down to six. And these are number eight. They're really pretty. And actually, the petal is in here. <laughs> if somebody wants to glue it on. Annie P. All right, Annie, I'll leave the I'll leave the piece of the petal inside the one boot. So if you want, you can glue it on. I can, I mean, there was one more little piece and it flew somewhere and I have not found it. So Um, okay, how about some milk glass, you guys? Oh, um Mary Hammond said that the postman just dropped her package in perfect condition. Yay! Yay! You guys don't know how I, like, breathe a sigh of relief when you tell me your package arrived and everything was perfect because I know how the post office is. So, I really got to... These glasses absolutely are terrible. I can't... I can't see. I got to go like this. I can't see. Uh, uh, Murder ones? Yeah, but I can't see even, I can't see. It's not clear. They've one? never been right since I bought, since I got them from there. Anywho, Where me and my, over? me and my blind self will get going here. All right. Here is a beautiful milk glass candy dish. It's in excellent condition. There are no cracks, no chips. I don't know what this pattern is. It's kind of like a geometric thing. But this is the lid. It has the little pedestal on the bottom. And this little beauty is $8, and it's number 14. Very, very pretty. 
It would look nice out at Christmas time, I think, with some peppermint candies. Alma Bean. Alma Bean, all right, is the winner. Chicken dinner. I have another piece. I have quite a few pieces of milk glass because at my last sale, I asked everybody about the milk glass and they were like, yay, yay. So here we are. This is a gorgeous bowl. Uh, it's probably maybe for fruit. Um, or a parfait would be cute in that. That would be a really large parfait. Well, obviously <laughs> not for one person. But like, I mean, <laughs> you know, family of four perhaps. Yes, and it is, I believe that this pattern is called Spanish Lace. And I think it's Fenton, but it's really very, very pretty. So this is $12 and it's number 29. It even has a pretty design. I don't know if you guys can see it on the bottom here. Very Paulie's pretty. Projects. All right, Paula. Uh, let's see. I'll do one more piece of milk glass and then I'll move on to something else. Kind of break it up a little bit. All right, this is, I believe, um, it's either a candy dish or a planter. I'm not quite sure, but I love this edging on it. It's really pretty, and then it has this diagonal striping design. Uh, it doesn't say anything, you know, on the bottom, but it's really very pretty. Uh, this is $10, and it's number 32. $10, number 32. Marty Cruz. 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 <laughs> Marty Cruz. All right. Every time I talk to Annie, I just think of Smooth Criminal, like the whole time. Annie P. I don't know. Smooth. Annie, are you okay? You know? Oh, smooth that. Criminal. Oh, yeah. that's okay. <laughs> All right, here is an item from a recent thrift haul. I can't even believe I'm selling this, but you guys remember this adorable deviled egg tray with the matching salt and peppers. Those look like cactuses. The roosters? Cactuses? Yeah, because the green and the pink. I thought it was a cactus. But then I realized it was a rooster. Mm, a cactus. Okay, here's the tray. Isn't that cool? Someone will have my back watch. <laughs> she thought it was a cactus. When do you ever see green and pink roosters? Never. In vintage stuff. They had all kinds of weird colors. <laughs> Hi, Joanne. <laughs> so we have this adorable set. It's $12. See? And it's penis. number 22. Yep, see? Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank you. $12, number 22. <laughs> Polly's Projects. Oh, that was too funny. Cactus. Okay. <laughs> Woo, I'm having a hot flash, guys. Oh, dear. I have some corning wear, only one piece of corning wear today. But of course, it is the blue corn flour, and it is a four cup coffee pot. Now, it's in excellent condition. There's the basket. Um, that's the inside, very, very clean. Now, the only issue is that this lid will not fit, like, tightly. It just, like, sits on there. It doesn't, like, click in or anything, it, and it mo it'll move around. But other than that, it's perfect. So... Does that go right on the stove top? Yes. Okay. It goes right on the burner. It's uh, to perk fresh perked coffee. 
So uh, this is $15 and it's number 38. Nothing like fresh perked coffee. Absolutely. I don't know what we did. Helen Casey. You know, they got the automatic drip coffee makers now and nobody perks coffee anymore. But I'll tell you, it's the best. Yep, you sure don't perk coffee anymore. I sure don't. Mm. I, I don't, I just, I like stand in front. Well, look at you. She can't even wait for the automatic drip to be done. <laughs> she pulls the pot out in between when it's half done to pour her coffee because she can't wait five minutes. Hello. And she's talking about me. Well, wow. Usually you're up. Hi, oh, my vintage. <laughs> so when Sorry. Up, it throws me off. <laughs> oh, Misty's here. Is Misty here? Hi, yeah. Misty. Hi, Rita. <laughs> Um, okay, I have, I don't know what in the world they used these little um, things for, but I have this set of four. They're a beautiful mint green color, little leaves, and they nest inside each other. Well, that could be like for a tea bag. They're all in excellent shape. It's the set of four, and it's they're in graduated in size. There's no maker on them at all, but they're so pretty. They're dainty. Very yes, they are very dainty. So you get this the set of four for eight dollars, and it's number ten. Number ten. Mid century wasted. Mid-century wasted. Thank you. Who that? Daniel Kessler. I don't know who that is. What is the logo? That's a new person. Huh? No. Okay. Next I have... Did you announce that she got the deviled egg plate? Polly's Projects. Yeah. Yes, Sorry. you did. She must have forgot. No, I swear I said it, but I think it was amongst, amongst the confusion about it being a, a cactus. cactus. Yes, we were probably still talking about the cactus. <laughs> um, okay, next I have this beautiful little creamer. It is so dainty and pretty. It's an excellent shape. No cracks, no chips. Let me pull out the ticket. I'll show you the inside. Nice and clean. And this is uh, hand-painted, and this is Nippon. So we're going back quite a ways on this beauty. Oh, excuse me, sir. This is $6, and it's number 15. No voice. Yeah, Little yeah. personal creamer. It's gorgeous. I love, I think these are P. daisies on there. No banks. No the Binks is cutting up, guys. He thinks he's going to be jumping up on this table. Okay, in keeping with Nippon, this is a nap. You know what? I think it actually, it, this is really weird, but it has, it almost looks like it kind of goes with this because it, if you look at this little creamer, it has like a cream colored border. And so does this dish. This I thrifted the other day. It's absolutely gorgeous. It has the little feet and a beautiful gold gilding design and it has the cream colored border. And this is, is, is Nippon as well. And this is $12, and it's number 48. That, it's just, it's, what a gorgeous piece that is. Shirley Pearl. Ah, Shirley. Hi, Shirley. All right. What item was number 38? Did I do it yet? Yeah, it was the Corning. Water okay, it was cup. this. Okay, I just want to put this back on here. 
All right. Hey, Cindy, how you doing? Thank you so much. Um, there was a couple people that let me know about pirate ship, um, how you can load up uh, your, for shipping. You, you guys know what I mean, who, yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm not sure what this is used for, but it's, it's gorgeous and it's made in Germany. It has the little feet and uh, it says, it says made in Germany and it has Bavaria. That's the bottom. It, it could be a toothpick holder, but the toothpicks would get lost in here because it's pretty tall. It's about four inches tall. So I don't know exactly what it would be used for. But anywho, this lovely piece is $6 and it's number 24. It maybe, it maybe it could be. I don't know. Hi, Nita May. So we have Nita May, 24. All right, Nita May, you won. <laughs> All right, next is this beautiful set. Uh, it's a creamer and a sugar bowl. It's this beautiful frosted pink with the design and the little hand-painted flowers. Really, really pretty. Show you the other side and the bottom. Really a very pretty set. You could actually, if you didn't want to use it as a creamer or sugar, you could use it in your bathroom to put cotton balls in or bobby pins, whatever you like. I don't know who makes it, but um, it's $10 for the set, and it's number 44. Hi, Judy. Isn't it pretty? It's really very pretty. $10. Joanne Baber. Joanne Baber. All right, Joanne. I know, isn't it pretty? You don't see that very often, the frosted pink color. It reminds me of um, sea glass. Yes, like sea that's, glass. Like that's exactly like right. the same The same vibe. Yep. All right. Okay, up next I have this set of Starbucks. These are like acrylic glasses. They're, <laughs> they're a good size and they have this really cool orange color like in the bottom. They're really cool. Um, they would be really nice for like ice water or iced tea. Uh, so you get the pair for $8, and these are number 16. Ooh, my stomach is growling like crazy. Hi, Denise. So there Shirley you are. Pearl. Shirley Pearl. Um, is it, jo is it Joanne Baber or Shirley Pearl that likes to drink the warm beer? These would be really good for beer. Warm beer. I can't remember who it is that always talks about the warm beer. I know, yuck. I could never drink warm beer. Not it's not okay, then it's Joanne Baber, I think. <laughs> uh, okay. I have another piece. Nope, Joanne said not me. Not well, you either? Pizza. Okay, I can't remember who it was, but they were talking about beer. Warm beer. All right, I have another milk glass item. This adorable little lamp. Uh, it does work. It works perfectly. I could actually plug it in for you guys, but trust me, it works. It's really cute. Maybe I'll plug it in. Just well, move that. I will. <laughs> move the beater. No, I'm all right. Um, just so you guys get the effect. Is there a light bulb in it? Oh, I don't have a light bulb in it. <laughs> so never mind. <laughs> but it does work. It's very cute. It will look cute in the, in the kitchen. Um, 
And I, this is just like transfer wear on there. It's really cute. I know, Annie, I'm losing it. So this little cutie is $15 and it's number 25. <laughs> no light bulb. I guess it's not going to work. <laughs> Marty Cruz. Uh, I forgot I took the light bulb out. Oh, well. All right. Let me wind this cord up because I don't want it to get caught on anything. All righty. <laughs> no light bulb. All right. Okay. Uh, how about a planter? I know you guys like planters. You like to use planters for everything, including cheese. So, <laughs> this is a gorgeous, look at the color on there. It is beautiful. And this is York Pottery, which I believe um, eventually turned into false craft. But it's a gorgeous, like a, um, Binksy. like a, a, no Binks, like a light turquoise color. It's really, really pretty. All right. Say hello. Make say hi, video. Binks. Say hi. <laughs> All right. You gotta stay down, bud. All right. Here, so see. anyways, it's a good size too. It's a decent size. This is $12 and it's number three. Here, you cannot. Mid century wasted. All right. You cannot come up here, Binks. Binks, you want to come sit on mommy's lap? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, here he comes. Okay. All right. Next, I have a vintage piece of Pyrex. Not like you guys are thinking. I do have some, some more uh, Pyrex casserole dishes, uh, but those are listed in my eBay store. Um, but this is a Wine Country decanter, still in the box. It's a one pint size. And I will show it to you. This is really very cool. It's got a wood cork. It's awesome. I think it's so neat. There's the Pyrex on there. And this cool item is, uh, I don't know. Uh. Oh, hold on. The tag fell in the box. Uh, this is $10, and it's number 41. <laughs> oh, there goes the cork. Uh, all right. Holly oh, Hayden. Yeah, and it even comes with, like, important care instructions. <laughs> so there we go. Binks. What are you doing? Um, how about a couple thermoses, you guys? Hang on, let me grab them. Those from the previous app? Yes, the person didn't pay for them, so. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Uh, these were sold in a previous sale, and uh, the persons didn't um claim them. didn't claim them so i am offering them again we have this uh very cool red striped thermos it is thermos brand there's the bottom it's an excellent shape take this off i don't want you guys to see the has the cap, glass inner, and there's like no, um, there's a little tiny, a little tiny dent right here. 
So if you guys like this thermos, it's 12 bucks and it's number 42. Number 42, 12 bucks. Connie Emmerich. Wow. I know. Can you that guys hear my really stomach? I'm like starving. All right. I have one more thermos for you thermos collectors out there. This one's really cool and it's a big one. <laughs> This is another thermos brand. There's the label right on there. This is so cool. Gray and gold. How awesome is that? Um, there is the bottom. This has two cups, actually three. It has this one, this one, and this one. The glass inside, excellent shape. And this thermos is $15 and it's number 50. Very cool, very cool. Lily's mom. Lily's mom, thank you, Lily's mom. Oops, I dropped that. Okay, I'm gonna do a couple more pieces of milk glass for you guys. I have this beautiful, uh, I guess it's a candy dish, I would say. It has like a weave, uh, basket, basket weave. weave pattern and this gorgeous edging. It's like the open lace, I guess they call it. And it has a little pedestal and I believe this is um, Imperial Glass. It is. It's Imperial Glass. There is the logo on the bottom. And this is $12, and it's number 17. Just gorgeous. Polly's Projects. All right. This is uh, another piece of milk glass, and this reminds me of, like, um, this would be actually perfect for asparagus uh, because it's nice and long. What do I call asparagus? My daughter calls it aspergas, <laughs> but asparagus. <laughs> so, um, I mean, it's in excellent condition. Uh, I don't know who makes it. This is $6, and it's number 28. It's really pretty. Very pretty design. Teresa, hi, Teresa. Hi, Georgie. Hi, Ann. I'm just seeing who's coming in here, trying to, trying to look at the chat out of these crappy glasses. I can't see, so... Pardon me, guys. <laughs> All right, for you farmhouse people, how about this? Very, very pretty sign. This looks like a chalkboard, and it says, um, give thanks with the pretty burlap bow. Um, I'm not sure of the size because I didn't measure it, it's from 2015, and it is $10, and it's number seven. Very pretty. Looks like this on the back. Jill A. All right. Thank you, Jill. All right. I have a box here that I can start putting stuff in that I sold. All right. Okay, next I have, uh, what do I want to do next? Oh, you guys saw this in a recent haul video. This is that party, okay. oops, hang on. <laughs> party light um, set in the box. 
It comes with, let me show you what's inside, the instructions. And it is this beautiful gold, it opens up, it looks like a shell. It reminds me of a shell of some sort, but it opens like this, if I could get it open. And the candle goes in here really really pretty you get six candles with it you get the gold case and you get these two little um, velvet bags that come with it um, and it's eight dollars and it's number 33 Eight dollars, number 33. I gotta put the directions back. Georgie Candle. Okay, Georgie. Um, all right, I gotta slide some stuff over here, guys. All right, for those of you who are False Craft fans, I have this awesome Yorktown casserole with the lid, perfect condition, no cracks, no chips. I'll show you the bottom. And y'all are familiar with the Yorktown pattern. This is $15 and it's number 26. Beautiful. Yeah, I uh, unfortunately, uh, one of my subscribers uh, bought the one that I had uh, in my live sale from Hall. It was the pink casserole, and it arrived busted. So that's why I'm very glad to hear from people when their stuff arrives safely. So anyways, yeah, so this is $26, $15. have this beautiful set. Um, I believe this is made by a company called Silver City. It's absolutely gorgeous. The, the creamer has this beautiful scalloped design and so does the sugar bowl. But it also comes with this gorgeous bowl and it has the design on the inside i know it's really hard to see very brilliant silver isn't it gorgeous so you get the creamer the sugar and the bowl for 14 dollars, and it's number 36 Terry Ann. Terry Ann. Hi, Terry Ann. All right. Um, I do have uh, some Corningware cups for you guys. This used to be a really popular um, pattern. Who is that? Hi, Terry Ann. <laughs> um, I actually have eight of these cups, and they are the Farm Fresh cups. That's the pattern, Farm Fresh, and they, whoops, and they are corning, corning wear, and they're all in perfect condition. I don't believe these were ever used. They're beautiful. So I have a set of eight of these cups, you get all eight for $12, and they are number two. Uh. 
All righty. How about this gorgeous footed little, like a fruit bowl or whatever you want to put in there. Can you fill us in I, on... I posted it in the comments. So oh. basically what happens, if something arrives to one of you guys broken, you will get refunded and then my mom basically has to file a claim with the post office. Yeah, what I usually do is um, if you let me know that it, it came broken, send a picture. I ask you to send me a picture of the broken item and the box as well. If the box is like all beat up, then I send a claim to the post office uh, and then the post office will um, send me, hey, Alex, <laughs> the post office will send me a check. And then I will send the refund to the to the buyer. I actually just got the refund for the broken casserole and refunded um, the buyer. So, yeah. So, anyways, there's this beautiful footed bowl. Uh, this is made in Bavaria, I believe. I don't know that mark but uh, it has gold all around the bottom and there's really, uh, I don't see any paint loss at all on the gold. It's really very pretty. So this is $10 and it's number 30. $10, number 30. That would even make a pretty bird bath outside if you wanted to just do a little bird bath. It's really pretty. Okay, next for you Disney people. This is not one of my items. No, it isn't. I got it for her and she didn't want it. So, um, it's this very cool Walt Disney tray. Walt Disney World. World. Pardon me. Walt Disney World. And Alex, it's Florida. <laughs> That's okay. Don't worry about it, Alex. I know how it is with the pack and orders, okay? Anyways, it's a very cool, colorful tray. It's in excellent shape. There's just like a leftover sticker shrapnel on the back. And it's got some scratching, of course, on the back. But the front is excellent. So this is $6 and it's number 49 Chantilly. All right. This is an absolutely gorgeous dish, I think. I mean, it's very well done. Um, let me get the sticker off here. This is actually made by um, Lefton, and it is this gorgeous anniversary plate. Look at that. Look how beautiful the colors are. It is so, so pretty. And um, let me show you the back. I want to make sure I'm showing it the right way. It's just beautiful. So this plate is $10 and it's number 21. Number 21, $10. Gorgeous. I love the colors. The blues on it are just beautiful. It's like pastel-y kind of. Yeah, very pretty. I have this gorgeous butterfly plate. And this is a, um, it's made by Spode. It's a Spode annual First year of the issue, designed by Cecil Beaton. Um, it's from 1970, and it's this beautiful plate with the butterflies. Very, very pretty. This is the back. So, if you like butterflies, 
This plate is, hang on, I gotta get my price tag, $7 and it's number 27. Caitlin B. All right, Caitlin, Caitlin B. Okay. So I'm going to have a really nice haul for you guys coming up from the sales and stuff that we went to today. Woo. Uh, let me see here. How much more do you have left? Um, I have just this. Do you want me to do mine? Um, let me do this last thing and then I'm going to do this last um, item and then Jessica is going to do her Disney stuff for you guys. This is not my last item, but I mean, well, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Um, intermission. Yes, intermission. Um, I have uh, another milk glass item, and it is this set of uh, milk glass berry bowls with that real pretty swirl design. They're so cute. Okay, Alex, I'll see you later, sweetie. So I have six of these. They're all in excellent shape, no cracks, no chips. So you get all six for $12 and they're number 13. $12, number 13. Teresa Bryant. Teresa, thank you, Teresa. Hmm. What was number 50? Hold on. I got to check something. I found another uh, tag that's not with an item. The gray thermos. The okay. All right. Yep. Yeah. Okay. You want to get your... Um, I'll... Okay. Please don't mind how disgusting I look. I wasn't planning on being on here today. <laughs> um, so... Just a little background on them, as I always do. So what I'm going to be showing in the sale today, there's 11 of them in total, but it is out of a 12-piece collection. I didn't get the last one. Um, these were purchased when I was still working as a cast member at the Disney Store, and they are actually plushes but they are from what is called the wisdom line so basically what it is is a line of plush that they released last year um they're all like a limited edition um a lot of them go for quite a bit on ebay but i just can't be bothered to be honest um, but what's special about them is they are a character from a different disney movie and it has basically one of the most famous quotes per each movie that are embroidered on it somewhere. So I have, like I said, I have 11 of them. They're all different characters. And so I'm just hoping to send them to a new, better home uh, because right now they're just sitting in a storage container, but they are all brand new with tags and I'll kind of explain to you what I mean. So the first one is Dumbo, and you can see on his ears, that's where all of the embroidery is. Um, and like I said, there is the quote on each side of the plush. It has the Disney Wisdom little embroidery, as well as um, the number of the series. So this was actually for January, and so it was number one of 12. And again, we do still have the tag. So for Dumbo, I'm just honestly pricing them all the same. Like I said, some of them go for more than others on eBay. Dumbo being one of them because he was the first one in the collection. So Dumbo is going to be $24 and he is letter A for Apple. Mom, are you going to do this or? Oh, I didn't know I was doing it. <laughs> okay, I'll do it myself. So we have uh, Chantilly. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> I would have to have your phone. <laughs> Give me your phone. Well, here's that. Okay. And the paper. Okay. Oh, you made macaroni salad? I did. Great. <laughs> All right, so Dumbo went to Miss Chantilly. I'm going to try and do them in order from my memory of which one came out. Mom, I didn't write them all down. So next is going to be, this is Mushu. He is from Mulan. Um, the quote that is on Mushu is one of my most favorite Disney quotes. It is, the flower that blooms in adversity is the most rare and beautiful of all. But I like his style because he's kind of really long and elongated. And the quote just kind of follows his body. And I like that with this collection, they were all kind of like a muted color scheme. So this is obviously number two. So he was released in the month of February. And again, Mushu is going to be $24. What number? Uh, letter B, as in boy. <laughs> you just have to write Mushu. I don't know how to spell it. M-U-S-H-U. -U. Okay. <laughs> uh, Chantilly. Okay. Chandra. 24? Yep. Chantilly. And then, oh, I think this one was the third one. Let me double check. All right, so on to the next one. We have Blue from The Jungle Book. He's kind of a character that's not represented very often. And that's what drew me to this limited release set was because kind of the more obscure characters that were featured. So again, we have the logo, we have the tag. Baloo is also $24 and he is letter C as in cat. Uh, oh. Empty nesting too. Empty Nesting 2, and that is Baloo, B-A-L-O-O. -O. Yep. So the next one in the series was my birth month, so it was April. It is also one of my most, well, he is not specifically one of my most favorite Disney characters, but he is from Winnie the Pooh. And so I actually purchased two of these. So I have one for myself to keep. And originally what I was hoping to do with all of these is they were going to be in a nursery, um, but I decided to not do that. So that's why we are here today. So we have Piglet and Piglet's quote is again, one of my most favorite quotes, which is you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem and smarter than you think. We have the tag as well as the four of 12. Again, Piglet is $24 and he is letter D as in dog. Carol Hopkins. Um, who came next? Uh, I'm trying to do it in order set where you guys could kind of see the vibe of the series, but I'm having a, oh, no, that's six. Cheryl oh, Hoskins okay. got Piglet. All right. So next one is another very underrated character. We have Miko from Pocahontas. They don't really do much for Pocahontas. And his quote is from Grandmother Willow. And what's really pretty is you have like all the leaf detailing on his belly from Colors of the Wind. We have his little logo. They're all basically going to look the same, except for it's going to just be um, a different number out of 12. Joanne wants to know if you're going in alphabetical order. Well, I was, but I won't now. <laughs> because, <laughs> well, okay. So in fairness, like, wait till I say the letter. I just figured it'd be easier. No? Yeah. Okay, well, we'll switch it up. All right, so we have Miko, and he, again, $24, and he is going to be M for Miko. Letter M for Miko? Yep. All right, next up, we have Lumiere from... Hang on, hang on. Oh. Diane Carolyn. And how much was he? 24? Yep, they're all 24. Okay. All right. There you go, Diane. All right. We have Lumi Hi, Rachel. Lumiere. <laughs> he is number six of 12. And his is actually one of the only ones that was a quote 
by himself, which a lot of the other characters, the quotes were not from them. So it's, you must be bold, daring, something, something. But again, Lumiere, $24. And he is letter L for Lumiere. Well, now it doesn't, I guess it doesn't really matter which order I go in now. <laughs> but I still kind of want to. This one was one of my favorites of the set as well. Um, it is Jeannie. I am a big fan of Robin Williams. So I love, again, that they kind of picked a more obscure character to feature from Aladdin. And um, the quote is by the narrator in the beginning of the film. And he is technically number 10 of 12. So I did go a little bit out of order. So Genie is also $24, and he is letter G for Genie. Chantilly, Chantilly. The next one is Bambi, and he is number eight of 12. And his quote is from Thumper, which is, if you can't say something nice, don't say nothing at all. <laughs> and so Bambi, again, $24. And we'll go with letter T for Thumper. Helen Casey. This next one, I think a lot of people, um, because it's a, an older Disney movie, so a lot of people were excited to see him being featured. We have Jiminy Cricket from Pinocchio, and he's super cute. I feel like he's one of the more detailed ones because he has his top hat, and we have the quote, um, which is by the Blue Fairy, and he has his little jacket with his collar. He was one of my favorites. He is number seven of 12. So Jiminy Cricket is, again, $24. And it will be letter J for Jiminy and Jessica. <laughs> Chantilly. This one, y'all better be quick, because I feel like this is a very, very popular movie from my childhood, but it's not one of my favorite movies. But I feel like a lot of people really love it. We have Simba. And again, we have the quote going around the main. So this is when he's singing, I just can't wait to be king. And he sticks his head through the bushes. Super cute. So we have Simba again, 24. He is number 11 of 12. And we are going to go with letter Z for Zazu. Do I have a Z already? No. Okay. Mid-century wasted. And then the last one is very obscure. Um, one of my friends, this is actually one of her favorite movies. I don't even really remember it. It's not one that I would probably rewatch. I mean, I, I'd be down to rewatch it, but it's not on my list. So this is from The Sorcerer's Stone. And we have Merlin. So he was obviously the wizard from Sorcerer's Stone. He is number nine of 12, also $24. And we will go with letter R. I have no reference for letter R. Mid-century wasted. So the only one that I was missing out of the set was the last one, which was for December of last year, and it was Fairy Godmother. Um, what Disney was doing for a long time was they were actually producing more of them because people were going and buying a bunch of previous collections. Show Lumiere one more oh. time because he didn't sell. Oh, Lumiere didn't sell? No. The wow. only one that didn't sell is Lumiere. So we just figured we'd show him one more time. His bottom, like his base is hard, so he will stand up. He almost has like a stiff base. Um... But yeah, I'm actually I'm kind of shocked just because I feel like Beauty and the Beast is quite popular. Right. But what it, was his um again? No, oh, he was he was letter L. If anyone's interested, Lumiere letter L for twenty four dollars. 
All right, back to your scheduled uh, programming. Darn, I wanted to have some more macaroni salad. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Chantilly got letter L. Okay. So I'm just going to be putting them back in their tote and they'll be going to their new home. So thank you guys. I hope you guys enjoy them. I'm just cleaning up my friends. <laughs> Don't mind me. All right. Did you guys know about this collection? I'm curious. I'll read the comments, but I'm just curious as if you guys have seen these before. Okay. Sorry, you. There you go. Well, now that I know that that's in existence, I know what I'll be doing. What, have a macaroni yeah. salad? <laughs> I had... <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I know I was talking with my mouth full, but I was starving. All right. You have like a mini table now. And I'm about to have more when I'm done. Um, I'm going to wait for her. She's I getting a bowl. Just, just keep on keeping on. <laughs> All right. My nose is running again. All right. Um, let's do these. I have, uh, I showed these in a recent thrift haul. I cannot remember who makes these or what they're called. They have a certain name. But I have these two little, uh, they're cream colored bowls with the ribbing. It only says USA on the bottom. Whoops, wrong way. <laughs> um, this one's an excellent shape, but this one has a little, little chippy there. And I think that's the only spot. I don't see any other, any other little chips. There's just this one. This one has no chips. So you get the pair of these. These are nice for fruit, um, a small bowl of cereal, uh, whatever. I mean, they're, they're a decent size. So these are $10 and they're number 43. $10, number 43. Vicki Haney. Vicki Haney. Thank you, Vicki. Okay. Keeping on the subject of bowls, I have this uh, Pyrex. I believe it's, they call it Blue Onion, and there's something else, another name for it, which I can't think of off the top of my head. I believe this is a butter dish, but it is missing its lid. Um, I'll show you the bottom. There's your Pyrex logo. So you get this little lidless butter dish for five bucks. And it's number five. <laughs> Life sales are so great, you don't need to wear a mask. <laughs> right, right. Absolutely. Uh, next up, I have this little Hazel Atlas bowl with the ivy pattern. Mm -hmm. Five is Jeffrey Ross. Okay, Jeffrey Ross, you got the butter dish. Number five, right? Yes. So um, now this, uh, the ivy leaves, the color is faded on them. Uh, but other than that, it's in like excellent condition. It really is. There's no, hi, thrift you, hey, is it Sarah or Sam? I think it's probably Sarah. Oh my God, Sarah. I love, love, love my little girl to go with my Holt Howard. Thank you so much for sending that to me. Hi, Sam. <laughs> Tell your mom, please, that I said thank you. I told her in your live sale, but I don't think she saw it because the comments were flying. But anyway, so... This cute little bowl is $5 and it's number four. I know, I love doing the live sales. 
Because, you know... Luann. Luann! All right. Thanks, Luann. It's so much easier to do this than to take pictures and measure and all that stuff. The only part of this that's really hard is the packing. Packing everything up. Well, just because it's all like a bulk at one time versus like yeah. over like a span of time. Right. All right. Now, I'm going to try this piece again. It's all dusty. <laughs> Let me wipe it off a little bit. Um, I tried to sell this in my first live sale and it didn't sell. And I don't understand why because it's a gorgeous piece. It's this beautiful cobalt blue and clear glass basket um i don't know if it's like no. for a, a plant or if it's just like decor isn't it gorgeous it's beautiful no cracks no chips it has applied applied handles this beauty is $14 and it's number 23. I know, it's so pretty. I love it. Okay, uh, Connie. is Connie. Connie Cable got number 23. I'm trying, but you know, he's on. I know. He's all on the way. Binks, Binks has made his presence known on my table. Um, excuse me, sir. Do you want to come and sit with mom? Oh, great. Come here. Come sit with mommy. Come on. There you go. Hi, buddy. Hi. <laughs> How you doing? All right. I told everybody about his assless chaps the other day, oh, by nice. the way. <laughs> oh. I should Did show you know? them, but I... I, <laughs> I mean, it's a little weird because right now he's got his tuppets. Yeah, he's got little tuffets of hair growing in all the wrong places. <laughs> but anywho, I'll let, leave that to your imagination. <laughs> uh, yeah, he wants some macaroni salad. Yeah, he probably does. But There's you know what? In it. None of them, say hi, Binksy. None of them eat people food. Uh, he'll he'll flick it around and play hockey with a piece of people food, but he doesn't normally eat it. So, but anyways, should we show everybody your poor bummy? Right? Did they actually want to see? Do you that? guys want to see Binks's poor bum? I mean, you could see like I'm looking at the screen. You could see the tip <laughs> of his tail where it kind of like cuts off. <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't do it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he had surgery you? he had surgery and they had to shave his hind end down his legs <laughs> so <laughs> here banks oh ma poor guy <laughs> i can't believe he just did that he, he doesn't know he does know he doesn't know he doesn't know. I know. My poor buddy. I was like, did they really have to shave that much hair off? Oh, I know. Poor Banks. I'm not embarrassing him. Poor boy. He doesn't care. Come huh, Banks. He's on my lap, purring away, laying down. <laughs> He's doing so good, though, you guys. We haven't had any problems. Uh, with him going to the bathroom. I know, knock on wood, right? But he's good. Okay, now that uh, everybody has... I uh, hope you guys weren't eating or anything. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Um, I have some um, a couple more pieces of milk glass, so I'm just going to get those out of the way. <laughs> um... I have, I have this beautiful little um, handled bowl with a little pedestal, and it has like an iris pattern. Yeah, it's very very pretty. No cracks, no chips. This is six 
$5, and it's number 34. Very pretty. Holly's Project. Alrighty. Okay, I have my last two pieces of milk glass. Um, that would be an ice cream dish, wouldn't it? <laughs> That's a big ice cream dish. <laughs> So I decided to sell these together as a set, but if you guys don't want it as a set, um, I would consider like separating them and selling them individually. But it is this beautiful pair of milk glass, like this to me, this is a fruit bowl. Show you that, isn't that gorgeous? And then this is a smaller one. You can see the difference in size. It's the same pattern. My, my daughter's saying an ice cream bowl. I'm like, that's like a, a, a gallon of ice cream no, in there. But anyways, so for the set, <laughs> um, I'm asking $16 for the pair. And it's number 47 wine cup. Oh. Wine cup. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Rebecca. <laughs> Rebecca Nichols. And you know what? They would look cool like this. You could do like um like a fountain or something or I mean, isn't that pretty? I love it. So that's the last of my milk glass items for this sale. I have a couple of figurines for you guys. Let me. She's cute. I've never seen her. Oh, you never saw her? Oh yeah, she's awesome. Where do you guys see this? Whoops. Stuck to my finger. Look at this little cutie. She is absolutely adorable. She's bisque porcelain, and she's a music box. Raindrops keep falling on my head. Look at her. She's adorable, and it has the little stopper here. You can turn it off. Uh, it's made in Japan. And this little cutie is $12 and she's number 31. <laughs> A little butt sticking up in the air. Caitlin B. All right, Caitlin. She is all yours. I have this figurine as well, which I actually had in my um, living room for quite a while. And I was really shocked that this did, she wasn't missing any fingers. Look at this adorable little girl with her dog. Show you close up. Look at her, is she not adorable? She's standing behind like a fence. There's a couple apples down there. She is just adorable. Now there are no markings on the bottom. And this is another piece of bisque um, porcelain. She is $10 and she's number 11. She's That's gorgeous. Isn't she pretty? I just love her. Lynn Hampton. Oh, all right, Lynn. I can't believe like her fingers didn't get busted off. Mom, why are you putting bad? bad well, no, I'm in saying because you know how they are in the the thrift stores. They just like throw the stuff around on the shelves, and that's how that happens. And she's like perfect. Um, next, I have this is another piece of bisque porcelain. 
And I, I thrifted this recently, and it's this beautiful vase. Show you up close. It has gorgeous detailing. Very pretty. It was in perfect condition until I broke one of the petals. Right here. I broke this little petal off. Um, I don't know where it's made. But I know, I know. I don't know what my issue is lately. I broke two things. Is that when you're moving it too? Oh, you do the same thing, Sam? Mm-hmm. So this is $8 and it's number 20. $8 and number 20. You're clumsy too, Sam? Rebecca. All right, Rebecca. I, you know, usually I try to be really careful, and it seems like the more careful I try to be, the worse it is. I'm better off just throwing the stuff around like they do at the thrift store. <laughs> All right. Um, next I have a set of cups. These are so cool. Look at these cups, you guys. Tell me these are not cool. Wow, Stacy, you have like butterfingers or what? Look how cool these are. They're um, glazed on the inside. They're like a cream color. Um, they're made in Japan. There's the sticker. So um, let me get the sticker out so I know. Okay. So these are $10 for the pair, and they are number 35, 35 for these awesome cups. They're real, they, were, they look like a barrel, actually, that's what they remind me of. Okay. Next I have a gorgeous, gorgeous pedestal bowl. Look at this bowl, you guys. Gorgeous amber color. This would be beautiful in the fall time. In the fall time, absolutely. And look at the look at the pedestal. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the shape. <clears throat> So this bowl is $15 and it is number 40. It's really, it's a, it's a nice, um, strong piece. It's, it's a little Cheryl heavy. Cheryl Hoskins. Okay, Cheryl. Thank you, Cheryl. Whoops. My hands are so dry that the string on these um, labels is sticking to my fingers. All right, I have a few things left, guys. Okay, so I got three packages of these um, that I'm offering. You can get them separately. What I'll do is if anybody wants them, um, you can type in the number and the first three that we see will each get a package. And they are these metal ball shower curtain rings. This is what they look like. That's how they go on your uh, curtain rod. I think there's 12, yes, there's a set of 12. And these are nice, they're heavy. So each package is $6. And they're number 45. Six dollars, number 45. No, 46. Oh, okay, sorry, 46. I have 45 on the tag. 46 they are. Six dollars each. They regularly go for like 10 bucks a package. All right, nobody wants the shower curtain hooks. 
All right. <clears throat> Uh, okay, my last few items are cat related. I have this adorable kitty creamer and sugar set. They're absolutely adorable. Um, this one, it has the slot for the spoon, but it doesn't have the spoon but we all have spoons at home. So you get, there's no cracks, no chips. So you get the pair, they are $12 and they're number 37. $12, number 37. Oh. All right, I have another kitty creamer. Very, very cute, has, uh, it's like a burnt orange color of, of flowers with gold. Really, really cute. So this one is $6 and it's number 19. And my, uh, we have Michelle at Mermaid. All right, Michelle at Mermaid Cove. And my last item is another kitty creamer. <laughs> very, very cute. And he's a little bigger than the last one. And he's $8.00. And he's number 39. Lily's mom. Lily's mom. All right, Lily's mom. Okay, so what items did not sell? I will show them again for anybody that came late. Uh, farm Fresh Cups. Okay, uh, they're down here. Okay, so for anybody that came in late, I'm going to show items that did not sell. There's only a couple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight, nine, uh, nine items that I'm going to show again. Uh, I have the set of Farm Fresh Corning Cups. I don't think they were ever used. And there's eight of them. And how much were these again? $12, number two. $12, number two for a set of eight. Okay. Um, Barb JM. Barb JM, number two. All right, next up is the blue and white rooster teapot. Oh, okay. Um, hi, hi, Linda from the UK. Um, next I have this, uh, really pretty, uh, kind of like French cottage, uh, blue and white teapot with the roosters on it. It's in excellent condition, no cracks, no chips. The lid has that pretty design on there. And this teapot is, well, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Ross already put the number, so he must have remembered it from You remember so, this, Jeffrey? So, number nine? Yeah. Okay. So this, you want this then, Jeffrey, correct? Number nine? How much was it, Jess? $12. It's $12, number nine. Just waiting for confirmation. Oh, Terry Ann. Well, yeah, I know. I, know. I see Terry Ann, but he's not saying anything. All right. Um, yes. 
Okay. Okay. All right. So Terry Ann, Jeffrey had put number nine in before you did, and we were waiting for him to answer. So uh, Jeffrey, you got the teapot, number nine, for $12. Uh, next up is the anniversary plate. Okay. I also... Um, I also showed this beautiful anniversary plate. It's, it's really so pretty. The colors are gorgeous. And this is a Lefton plate. And I was asking $10 for this plate and it's number 21. Okay. Number 40. Cheryl, the amber bowl is 15. Uh, next one is the false craft casserole dish. Okay. Um, also, I have this beautiful uh, false craft Yorktown pattern casserole dish. Uh, with the lid, it's in perfect condition. I don't think it was ever used. There's no cracks, no chips. It's got the pattern on both sides. Um, it's probably, I would probably say it's about four pounds, three to four pounds. Um, this is $15 and it's number 26. Oh, that's, uh, where is it? I don't know. Um. <laughs> All right, on to the next one, the coffee cups. <laughs> try right there. All right, so I showed these as well. Um, these were $10, and these were number 35. Um, I'll reduce them down to eight bucks if anybody wants them. Eight bucks, number 35. Mid-century wasted. Okay. Oh, here it is. I couldn't see it because it was behind the vase. Is this the last one? Uh, or is there more? Just two more after that. Okay. Um, I also showed this beautiful pedestal, like a little fruit bowl or whatever you want to use it for. It has beautiful gold detailing, and it has a pretty, like, a embossed pattern on the side, and the flowers are gorgeous. And this is made in Bavaria. This was $10, and it's number 30. $10, number 30. Joanne Baber. All right, Joanne. Thank you, Joanne. And then last two things is the cream and sugar. Oh, this one? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then the shower curtains. Oh, okay. I'm not worried about them. Okay. All right. <laughs> so the last thing I'm going to try to sell is Again, this little set of Kitty Creamer and Sugar Bowl. Um, I had them for $12. I'll go down to $10 for the set. Number 37 for $10. <laughs> They're cute. I can fit more on my shelf behind me. <laughs> oh, 37. Cynthia. All right, Cynthia. I know. <laughs> you know what? I like it, though. Let me show you. Can you see the top? Look, Rachel. Look, I got more up there. I got my Hazel Atlas milk pitchers. Yeah, baby. 
<laughs> oh, you were going to grab the kitty, Sam? <laughs> I guess you just can't eat during a live sale. <laughs> Oh, thanks. Thanks, Rachel. No, I think they're up there good. I got anchors in the wall and everything. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you guys enjoyed the sale today. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Um, as I said, I got in the door like five minutes before the sale was going to start because we were out. And we would have almost been late because there was one coming home, too. And yeah. I was like, no, no, you said you didn't want to go to that yard sale. We were on our way uh, here, and we saw a sale on the street on the way here, and I knew we didn't have time to stop, So, because I would have really been late, but whatever. <laughs> you know how it is when you go out thrifting, you know? So, how do I make my mac salad? Um... I use elbow macaronis, and I put uh, celery, onion, uh, cut up uh, chunks of cucumber, little chunks of carrot, and tuna fish. Oh, just go over the payment one more time. And mayonnaise. <coughs> okay, so what you have to do is after the sale, um, my email, Jessica's going to put my email address in for you, okay? What you need to do is send me an email uh, and let me know what items you purchased, your name, your uh, regular mailing address with the zip code, and your PayPal email address. If I don't have your PayPal email address, I won't be able to send you an invoice. So send me all of that information and what I will do is package everything up, I will weigh it, I will get a shipping cost, and then I will send you an invoice. And then you just pay the invoice and I ship out your goodies as soon as I get everything packaged. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Helen. Helen, I sent you a new kitty. It's on its way. I had the same exact one. Poor Helen got one of her items and it was broken too. Luckily, I had another one of the same. So uh, anyway, guys, thank you so very much, everyone, for participating in my sale. And um, invoices will start coming within the next day or two. All right, everyone. <laughs> Have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys really soon. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs>